Now, this is a trade rumor that I really have not thought of before. I honestly did not expect this one to kind of come out of really nowhere like it has. But for those of you who haven't heard about this news, it is currently now being reported that the Golden State Warriors have interest in trading for Victor Oladipo, and this is all being reported by Kevin O'Connor. I'd just like to read out some of the comments too that I've seen about this, because I think some of them are absolutely hilarious. Someone said the Golden State Warriors need a pass rusher. Yep, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Someone said they should trade James Wiseman, Clay Thompson, and a future 2035 second round pick. Well, someone also replied to that by saying, nah, I think the Rockets are giving up too much. Well, <laughs> there you go, guys. These are some, some bloody good comments going on right now. But I think the most important comment that I have seen, which makes the most amount of sense, is someone actually saying that Victor Oladipo wants to go to the Miami Heat. I don't think I could have described that any more perfect if I actually tried. I think Victor Oladipo really, really wants to go to the Miami Heat. And I think he's going to find himself there eventually. Like, I mean, it was reported that the Houston Rockets, I believe, offered him a $45 million deal. You know, which goes over two years, so $22.5 million a season. We obviously know that he declined that. I believe the Indiana Pacers before that offered him a four-year $98 million deal. No, $88 million deal, I think it was, which would have been $22 million a year. He declined that. So, again, it's, it's just... Very annoying because for some reason Victor Oladipo is kind of going with his mindset that you either give me the max or I'm going to go on to the Miami Heat with the same contract that you're offering me. And I guess, you know what, it is a little bit annoying, but fair enough. You know, if, if he wants to go to the Miami Heat this badly, let the guy get to the Miami Heat. Stop trading him around teams. You know, again, he just got traded to the Rockets and it's reported that he might be getting traded to the Golden State Warriors or a different team. Please, League, just let him go to the Miami Heat in free agency because that's ultimately where this guy wants to play. It's pretty obvious. There is nothing really more that you can say about it, I guess. But I kind of look at it like this. What would the Golden State Warriors give up? And how's the fit? Honestly, in my opinion, I'm not exactly too sure if I like the fit because I believe that the... System that they're kind of looking at right now with Steph Curry at point guard, Victor Oladipo at shooting guard, and Clay Thompson at small forward. I don't think that's going to work. I believe they were going to try that with D'Angelo Russell instead of obviously Oladipo when they had Russell on the team. It didn't work with Russell, even though, again, Clay was injured. Just having another guy like that didn't work. I guess Victor Oladipo is a more natural shooting guard, could make it work a little bit better. I suppose, but there's still no evidence at all to back up that, you know, back up that statement whatsoever or that opinion. I, I think that Clay Thompson at small forward isn't just, it's just not a good thing. I mean, Clay's six foot five, um, decent height, I guess, for small forward. But look, he, after his Achilles and ACL, do you think that guy's going to have the speed and agility and athleticism to go ahead and cover six foot nine guys like? LeBron James, six foot nine guys like Tobias Harris, six foot eleven guys like Kevin Durant. No, let's just let's just slow it down for a little bit. That's not happening. You're not winning a championship, I don't believe, with Clay Thompson as your starting small forward. I just don't like it, and I don't think it makes any sense at all. And so I don't think it's a good fit for the Golden State Warriors, is what I'm trying to say here. I think Oladipo would be a good fit right now. But, again, that's because Clay's injured. When Clay comes back, what are you going to do? You're going to have to do a backflip and trade either one of them. And not going to trade Golden State Warriors legend Clay Thompson, are they? So what's the point of going and getting Victor Oladipo if he's most likely going to walk to the Miami Heat in free agency and that he doesn't really make sense for the team at all? Don't do it. It's just it's just stupid. It's a, it's a dumb thing. What would they have to trade would be the question... I could honestly see a near straight swap happening. Now, there's a lot of... I could cause some controversy by saying this, but Wiggins for, for Oladipo, that makes the most... In my opinion, Andrew Wiggins could actually be better than Oladipo. Yeah, I said it. Please don't hate on me in the comments because I have said this and I stand by it. Victor Oladipo is not the Victor Oladipo we used to know. As the number one option 
on the Indiana Pacers and now pretty much the Houston Rockets with Christian Wood missing a lot of games and John Wall missing a couple games as well. Victor Oladipo is averaging 20 points per game, 5.2 rebounds, 4.5 assists on 33% from three and with, of course, really good defense. But if we look at Andrew Wiggins, who currently has the Warriors in a near playoff contention with Steph Curry, Andrew Wiggins is still averaging as the second to third option 17 points per game, 4.5 rebounds, 2.2 assists on 35%. So honestly, I don't know who's better. I think Andrew Wiggins could nearly be better, considering he is nowhere near really the first option at all. And I mean, you could say the same thing about Wiggins, but I still feel like when he was playing with Sabonis, he was feeling like the first option. It's really interesting. I don't know who's better. It's a lot of people would have different opinions. It depends which Andrew Wiggins we're getting as well. Consistent-wise, Oladipo's a better player. But when it's their day and they're on, Andrew Wiggins is the type of guy to average, you know, 30 points in his good week. It's just how it works. Wiggins is only averaging 17 points per game right now because we've seen Kali Oubre start to get more on the board as well. Let's just say Kali Oubre kept having that bad season. Wiggins would probably be averaging about 20 points per game as the second option. Not to mention, Wiggins' defense is really, really good this season as well, with him averaging about one block per game and one steal per game. So again, it's very interesting. I don't know who's better out of all the depot and Wiggins. I would probably say it would probably be like Wiggins and a couple second round picks for all the depot. Just based on the fact that all the depot, a lot of people would believe the general public would probably believe he is better. And he's on an expiring deal and would probably go on cheaper than what Wiggins would be. And again, Wiggins is on a pretty big deal and he's pretty overpaid. But honestly, if you were to put Wiggins on the Rockets right now and he was to become the number one option... Uh, well, again, I could see Wiggins averaging like 20 to 23 points per game with Christian Wood and John Wall on his team. I could definitely see Wiggins doing that. I don't know if people agree with me and I might get some hate comments, but you know what? I've said it. I think Wiggins could actually be as good as Oladipo, if not better. I don't think he is maybe necessarily better. I don't know. I'm kind of making my mind up as this video goes on. It's very hard to say because both have actually been pretty good this season. So again, it's a very interesting thing. I guess it's just who you're talking to on the day, really, on who's better out of Wiggins or Oladipo. But that's probably what a trade would kind of look like. Of course, I'd very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA content and NBA news. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRO slash vlog channels if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for them will all be in the description down below. But as I was saying, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.